Right, a bit of an odd one this. Um, got a bit of a strange hole in our kitchen ceiling. Well, the reason for that is because we had a leaky bath. We didn't know for ages and then suddenly, oh dear, it sort of came away. As you can see, I'll do a close up of that. Now I've already started to patch it, as you can probably see, by whacking some poly through. Now you can't possibly fill that hole just with poly filler. Or can you? Oh, and by the way, for polyfiller, read Spackle, I believe, in the US. A general purpose kind of um, hole patching for plaster surfaces. What I've done is, you know, I've put as much as I could around the edge of the hole. And then what was, what's left, I sort of built up a little blob here. And I'm hoping that I can peel this out and use it to bridge most of the gaps in the hole. Well, um, it's three days later. Uh, it took nearly that long for it to set. It's, you know, oh, <laughs> he drops it on the floor. Um, and as you can see, it's a vomit. So although it did have that, that crack, and um, I peeled off that bit, the rest of it's pretty solid, actually. What I notice is this curve, which is that reasonably well. And there's a bit, you know, that's really good and solid. And this bit's sort of sticking in the way, so I'm going to just get some pliers and pay it on. I mean, the proper way to do this would be to replace, probably, well, to be honest, the whole ceiling's a bit lumpy and bumpy. Um, but something to cut out a piece. You know, it's like, <laughs> you know, you, you've got to uh, join bad onto good. And it's a question of, well, where's the good? And there isn't much up here that's good. But well, I think I can still make it work. Okay, what I've done is mixed up a batch with my hand and the hope. But, you know, you can see I'm extracting quite a lot of dirt. But I'm also applying a lot of stick, so, you know, combination should end up with something that's going to stick to the inside of it. I'm basically scraping off all the dust and debris. So, I hope it's going to end up with more filler, I'm going to call it. Oh, it's pretty good filler. I'm going to sort of there. The more I think about it, actually, just applying a bit of tape across. Tape. Down the end. Just sort of release the tape. This is what we would call in the UK a bodge job. Very much. Totally bodge. But it just might, might work. I don't know. And yet again, I find myself wanting to say, is this a good way of doing it? Hmm, don't think so. Um, what might have been good actually was to cut up this old Chinese takeaway box and slap some gunk on that and tape that up to the ceiling. But hindsight's a great, you know, teacher. Well, that's as good as I can do for now, I think. So I think, I think that's good enough to patch now. And that 
I thought she'd come through there. It's only a little bit though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, good enough for rock and roll, that's so. Yeah. Right, well, you can see, um, <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to get away with this bit of a patch. Now, how solid is that bit? Hmm, that bit, as you can see, it's a little bit loose. But a bit of polyfiller over it all. This time I'll do it flush. I think we'll be done.